What's good, y'all? So this video idea came from somebody in my Discord chat. And one of the things that they wanted me to talk about was how do you know if you have a good slash trustworthy friend? So we're going to go ahead and get into that a little bit. All right. So before we really get started, one of the things I want to remind y'all of is I'm a hermit. I'm an introvert. I love being by myself. I'm pretty much Mr. Solo Dolo. You know, I have two friends. And if you go back and watch my videos, that number gets smaller. It was already small, but it's gotten smaller and smaller and smaller to the point that I have one male best friend and one female best friend, right? So take, say, take my friend advice with a grain of salt. Because, like, you know, with me, it's like I have very, 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 very high standards for the people that enter my life. There's three levels to me. It's like I have high, I have very high standards for people that just want any tiny role, a consistent role in my life. I have high standards for you. Then I have even higher standards for people that I want to consider my friends. And then at the, at the upper echelon, it's like I have like the highest of high standards for someone that's trying to be my significant other. That's why like I'm so like critical of women because I hold y'all to the same high standard that I hold to my, I hold myself. You feel me? So that's just one way that I do I do I I move to to uh to protect myself emotionally because I'm very sensitive. But once I consider you my friend, I'm all in. You know, so before I open myself to people like that, I want to make sure that you go through the little bit of a gauntlet. You know, you go through the gauntlet to, to prove yourself to me. And I'm not going through like crazy tests and all this type of stuff. Time will tell. You know, consistency is key. And I guess it's a good segue into our conversation. Consistency, right? It's like, are they a good friend when people are around? Or are they a good friend when people are around and when it's just you and them? That's something that's very important. You know, they like when it's just you and them, they don't know what to talk to you about. They're, they're nowhere to be found. But when people are around, oh, this is my friend, such and such. Oh, yeah, we hang out all the time. We do be doing the craziest stuff. Hey, you remember that? Wait, hold up. I've been trying to talk. I've been trying to get at you for the last week and you ain't know nobody. But now that people are around, you don't flip the script on me. You know what I'm saying? The other thing is like, you know, people that like you are willing to let know that all the different aspects of you, that level of vulnerability is very important. Now, this is more so for adult, like, you know, like, you know, like, you know, like the high school and up type of things when you can like actually be real with your friends. Vulnerability, honesty, all these like basic words are very important, but especially honesty. You know, it's like I treat people the way I want to be treated. I don't want you to kiss my ass just because we're friends. In all honesty, I want you to be more critical of me because that would show me that you're a better friend. That shows me you're not just going to agree with everything I say, being like a nice little yes man or yes woman. You know what I'm saying? If I say something dumb or something that you disagree with, you make your opinion known, especially being an adult. You know, it's like speak your mind, speak your truth. I don't have time for yes men. I don't have time to be in the echo chamber. You know, I don't want conflict. I don't want to. Why not? It's like when the real emotions, like if we get into it, have like a heated debate about something that, hey, I could tell that you have true emotions about something. Why would I be mad about that as a friend? We are allowed to agree and disagree on certain things. In all honesty, I want us to disagree on things if we're friends. You know, it's like we are still individual people and there's no way in hell that we can agree on everything. You know, and while my mind's firing off things in my head, you know, one of my basic principles that I live by is people make time for the things that they want, right? This freaking fly. Oh my gosh. You ever been sitting somewhere in the park outside and the fly just keeps landing on you? You could be going anywhere, but the fly wants to buzz around in your face and land on you. And oh God. But anyway, you know, people make time for the things that they want, right? And one of the things that I, I live by is that code. You know, if I invite you somewhere once, and you're too busy, okay, you have your own life, you got, you got your own plans for the day, cool, okay, the next time, hey, yo, you want to go hang out and do something such and blah, 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 oh, no, I'm busy, bro, okay, say less, you know, I invite you again in like a short time span, oh, yeah, I'm busy, I'm hanging out with such and such, it's like, all right, don't get me wrong, you could be a, 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 a like a busy individual, yes, I could be like actually hitting you up on very bad times, but you know, it takes three to start up a pattern, you know what I'm saying? So usually with me, like, I'm not saying just because you invited someone out three times that you can never be friends and blah, blah, blah. But what I am saying is with me, that's when I just flip the script and I wait for you to invite me to do something. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, you want to, hey, yo, bro, hey, yo, bro. It's like, no, no, no. Okay, say less. I'm going to wait for you to invite me because I believe in balance. I believe in reciprocity. If I'm going to be going out of my way to invite you to do stuff and I want to show that I want to hang out with you, I want to spend time with you as a friend then at some point, you're going to have to show me that you want to spend time with me. 
you know even with me as an introvert when i was given time to an acquaintance that i kind of just like you know been phasing out of it's like i would still be like hey yo bro you want to do something hey yo bro you want to try something because i'm putting out that effort are they putting out the same effort that you're putting out you know one of the things though that like you know made my two friends like really stand out to me is when i was going through things you know financially it's like they both like showed their hand to show like they really have my back you know it's like with my man's like i was like i was like hey yo I was like, yo, like life sucks right now. It's like this shit is hard, but I know we'll be all right. He's like, yeah. I say, like, he's like, man. It's like you, the you, the magical one. It's like things will work out for you, but it's like if you need anything, I got a couch for you, homie. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, good looks. You know what I'm saying? And then like with my female friend, like the same, the same conversation came up. She's like, dang, that's crazy. Well, you know, I know you're not gonna ask because of your pride, but like you know, you can you can count on me. If you need anything, just let me know when I got you. You know, I was just like, word. You know, it's like when I was going through my stuff, it's like I go through like, you know, like we all go through like different shedding periods, all different stages of metamorphosis in our lives. Some people are your friends for the short term and some people are going to show that they're here for you for life. You know what I'm saying? And it's like it always seems like your best of best friends are here for life. But like once again, time will tell. So I've been friends with like for such and such for a decade now. And I've been friends with other persons since college. And they made us we had all these friends in college, but he's still here been through high school college life and she's still here you know what i'm saying consistency is very important that kind of goes back to my first point consistency are they your friends through thick and thin you know the same way that people make their wedding vows and stuff through thick and th through thick and thin through sicker and poor for bad for worse and all that type of stuff for good and for worse and blah 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 a lot of people will flake off when things aren't looking too good and these people have been through the ups and downs with me you know consistency is another very important point in regards to timing and stuff like that you know with me it's like it's like friendship needs to be renewed friendship needs to be restored you know built upon all that type of stuff and i made a video way back when it was like yo how can we have not spoken not have a real deep conversation in like literally a solid year but you still want to try to consider me your friend do you not know how much growth that I go through? Maybe you, you're cool with these complacent people that have been the same for the last five years, but I change on damn near a weekly basis. And do you know how much change I go through? Do you know how many ups and downs I've gone through this year? And you were not a part of any of that. And still, and you want to consider me a friend? I don't know about that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, so it's like if you can go a whole year without speaking to me, like that shows that's a, that's a whole year you didn't need me in your life and i'm not saying you need me like in that sense of attachment and all that type of stuff y'all know what i'm saying it's just like it's just one of those things that too much happens in a year for you to call me a friend y'all know my stipulations you want to be in my life you want to be my friend you want to be my significant other you know what i'm saying and it's like people that sh serve a small role in my life are more consistent than you and you still won't call me a friend well sorry if my standards are a little bit higher than the people that you're used to you know what I'm saying? Um, what else? What else? What else? Ah, make sure people are friends with you for the right reasons, right? It's like some of y'all, I'm sure some of y'all watching this are like, you know, are, are, are like the heirs of some powerful people. Some, you're like, you know, you're the son of like a very powerful individual or such. You have to make sure that your, the people around you want to be around you because they like you, not because what they can benefit off of you. You know, I'm not saying like I'm a big old famous YouTuber, but I'm just saying like if I were to meet and hang out with somebody and then all of a sudden they just want me to keep shouting them out on my YouTube. Hey, yo, bro, you should uh, you should really shout me out. That'd be really dope, bro. I would look at you crazy. I'm like, we're friends. Why are you trying to use this other stuff that I'm doing and to, for me to benefit you? Like, that's kind of messed up. Like, I would never ask my friend. I don't care if they got 10 billion subscribers. Everybody in the planet is subscribed to them. I would never ask. You know, just like how I know some of my people's, you know, like even like acquaintances that I have. It's like they got they got money in the bag, but I will never ask them for a dollar because I feel like they, they're used to that. They're used to people only coming to them for financial things. And I don't want to be another one. You know, I treat people the way I want to be treated. Let's just hang out. Let's just forget our status. Let's forget who we are. We, we, we vibe with one another, right? Okay, let's hang out. Let's play video games. Let's talk about stuff. You know, if you're a drinker, have a drink. I'll get me some water. I'll get me some juice. And we can cheers and have a drink. You know what I'm saying? It's like, let's just, just be people. Screw the status. Screw the position in life. You know what I'm saying? There was a clip that I saw. It was like, um... It was like, I forgot exactly how he worded it, so I could just be filling in the blanks with my own words here. 
But like he pretty he pretty much says something along the lines of like yeah going to the Harvards, Yales, the MITs that's all great and all you know what I'm saying. But it's like the most important things I don't give a shit what you do in your classes. You better make sure you get friends with the people with the right last names. That one kind of struck me a little bit. I was like, damn, it's really like that up there at those levels. Like, they don't care about nothing. They care about the prestige. They care about the networking. They care about all that type of stuff. You know, oh, yeah, I'm friends with the Obamas. I'm friends with the Clintons. I'm friends with the, the, the Thurgoods. I'm, th I'm friends with the blah, blah, blahs. And I'm like, I would hate to be a young person that just happens to have, like, a very powerful family name. And all these people are trying to, like, kiss my ass to be my friend. You know, I'm not sure if I said because my mind's going right now. But like I said, it's like honesty is very important. Honesty. Be honest with me. If you see me doing something as a friend, let me know it. I don't want to be in the echo chamber. I don't want to be friend uh, echo chamber. I don't want to be friends with someone that's just a yes man. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, man. You're great, man. Yeah, we're cool, man. Yeah, awesome. Tabular. Nah. Have friends that you could be, you know, like be, like, you know, like shoot the shit with. But then also, like, you know, have that mode that you could be serious with. Then... It's like when you can be serious, it's like, okay, be, don't be afraid. You know, you shouldn't be afraid to ask a real friend that a question. Hey, yo, why are we friends, bro? Why are we friends? And it's like, I don't know. If people struggle to answer that question, that kind of shows you something. Why are we friends? Yo, because we get along. We're really cool. We do this and that. You play basketball. I play basketball. You play League of Legends. I play League of Legends. You do this, this and that, blah, 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 blah. Cool. What are some things that you think I can work on? You know, like what's some things that you like I'm low key annoying or some things that you wish I would switch up? Nah, you're really great, bro. Bullshit. Bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's like like with Alex, I never had that conversation specifically, but like he'd be like, yes, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like sometimes I'd be believing your spiritual stuff, but sometimes it don't make no damn sense to me. It's like sometimes I'd be like, I don't know. I wouldn't trust all that, but that's your life. He already made that clear to me in casual conversation. That's just how we get down. You know, and then like uh, my, uh, my, my, my female friend, I was like, hey, yo, what's some things? And she said, I think your stands are too high for women. That one I disagree with. But nevertheless, like I was just like, I was like, but thank you for being honest, though. You see what I'm saying? If you can't ask your friends hard questions like that, they're not your friends. You know what I mean? And then it's like on the, on the flip side of that, if your friend asks you that and you you answer them honestly, and they take the most offense to your honesty and you being truthful with them, then they, they, I don't know, that's up to you. But in my world, I'd be like, all right, so you can't handle like strong words. You can't handle criticism. That's very important. You know, it's like we're all ha-ha, ki-ki right now. But if things were to hit the fan and we have to have a real conversation, would you be mature enough to handle this conversation with me? You know what I'm saying? So, um, oh yeah, lastly. So this is like another thing that I used to do. So one of the things that the uh, individual asked was like, you know, where are some tests? Now, don't get me wrong. All of the above can be seen as tests. But when I used to hear the word test somebody, like I, I see it as a conscious effort to see. Now, one of the things is, is like, be careful because like I look at testing people in the same way as like um, asking hard questions. And if people ask me hard questions, I don't, I don't pull punches. If, you, if I have an answer that I know you're not going to like, then I ask you this one. Are you sure you want to know the answer? So if you're going to put your friends through these tests, are you sure that you're ready for things to like, you know, like if things don't work out, if, the t if they quote, quote, fail the test, are you ready to see those results firsthand? You know, people that, that, that be doing like the most dangerous test I be seeing people do is that like they'll put their uh, like their uh, there's, there's someone that they're trying to date or like their significant other in the room with their best friend or something like that. And but yo, try to try to see if you can hook up with her. Try to see blah, blah, blah. Why would you even do that? You know, that's, that's some really childish stuff, you know, because that just shows that you don't trust who you're dating. So you already knew, you know, what I'm saying you already knew that. Let me let's test them. That means you didn't have full trust with that person that you were trying to bring into your life anyway. So tests like that are dangerous. And I would say stay away from those. But one test that I had in college, if I had to answer that question, I had a test in college that I would like give certain friends in their group like a certain phobia of mine. And they'd be some stupid shit. Like, but yo, bro, I'm scared of rubber duckies, dog. Like the fact that they faces don't move and they just like they be squish, 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 squish. It's creepy to me, dog. I just made that up. But nevertheless, you know, it's like, yo, I'm scared of rubber duckies, yo. Like, yo, pink jelly beans, dog. That shit's scary to me. Like, I don't, I don't trust that. And I would see how long it would take, especially with the female friends. Like, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really scared of like heights. You know what I'm saying? I'm really scared of heights and blah, blah. And I would see how long it would take for that information to naturally, like, you know, uh, disperse throughout the group. The funny thing is, it never did. 
You know, I never had anyone joke me about the rubber ducky. I never had anyone joke me about heights. I never had anyone, you know, mess with me on that type of stuff. That's how I knew that that was like the easiest way for me to know I could trust these individuals. Because back in school, if y'all y'all know my story about that, you know, for those of you that are new to my channel, Black Kid White School, where I talk about some of the, the shit that was going on in college. It's like, it's like I didn't trust nobody in college. So I had to have these tests. I had to protect myself because I found myself growing to like these individuals. You know, so I was like, wait a minute. I've been hurt before. Let me go see real quick. You know what I'm saying? So I would do, like, if someone that, if, that you consider a friend can't hold on to sensitive information, come on, man. Listen, that's, that's easy right there. I told you something in confidence. I told you that, you know, I wanted to talk to that girl or, you know, oh my God, I wanted to talk to that guy, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then they go and like spill the beans and everybody's like snickering and joking about something that you did that was supposed to be secret between you and somebody else. That's a breach of trust right there. You know what I'm saying? That's a breach of trust right there. You know? So that was just one of the tests that I would do back in the day. Like, just make up a fake phobia and see how long other people are around. Because, like, if I told you that and I know that I've only told you that, how does, how does Rick over there know about it? How does Stacy know about that if I only told you? Oh, yeah, we were talking about it such and such. No, you told something I told you in confidence to a whole bunch of group of people. Therefore, I know that I can't trust you with anything serious. You see what I'm saying? So I'm sure that there's so many other things that we could fill in the blanks with. You know what I'm saying? But I just wanted to throw out a few ideas for, for the homie in the Discord chat. Um, so if y'all got any other things that y'all have that y'all look for in friends, feel free to drop it down in the comments. Um, let me know if this was helpful for y'all. Let me know if that if we if you were just shaking your head like yup, yup, yup. All the above and all the etc. Till the next one, y'all. Peace.